our relationship to be successful. And it's the same, the same thing that happened in our business. We need to be aligned with ourselves, our team, if we want to create a big organization. So we need to use the success formula. That's so I, I love the success formula. We have to dream big. We have to set goals. And we have to believe that these goals can become true by taking action. When we take action, we start building. And we can build strong teams when, we all, when, we, when all of us are aligned. We can use the system. We can use our success lines. And by taking all of these amazing resources that we have in our hands, we build strong things. And then, what other better way to, to create amazing, strong organizations by using the leverage that the company gives us? We have an amazing business cycle that probably no other company has. So we have these six month cycles that allows us to have LTOs to create strong organizations maintain them with business cycles in order for them to qualify for success trips and by taking people to the success trips our teams grow every day so we have a perfect formula of alignment building and using this leverage to create strong teams so i think that's that's the best thing that we can use to uh just be successful in our business thank you So the first thing I think people need to do when they want to get in alignment is they need to get in alignment with their own values, with their passion, and what's most important to them. And then from there that alignment just grows up like ripples on a pond. So um, for instance with me, it would become, um, first the alignment would come with my husband Ken and our family, from there we'd grow up to our other our community, but also to our new skin teams, and from there to our new skin sidelines, and um, and of course then the alignment continues on to the company. But it has to start from here with your heart and with your passion. And my passion, and one of my passions, great passions, is um, my grandchildren, but also nourish the children. And I want to give an example of how alignment works in this business. A little example happened just a few, a couple of days ago. Um, it actually started three months ago when a group of about 20 of us, uh, 17 women and three men, three brave men, we decided to run a 5K here in Salt Lake City, even though the uh, official run wasn't taking place. And we did a lot of investigation, found out how to do this, and uh, completed it. But what was so amazing was the women in this group, uh, we were all of a certain age, most of us, and um, Many, in fact most, had never ever been in a race before. They had never run before. They had hardly ever walked at a fast pace before. And we started three months ago with a wonderful coach, Mo Hagen. She trained us and taught us how to run this 5K without collapsing. And we were able, through donations, to raise about 35,000 meals for Nourish the Children. <laughs> Somebody would complain their knees were hurting, their back was hurting, but they wouldn't complain. They would mention this and continue on with the training. And we were all in alignment, and guess what? There were five sidelines in that group. We all worked together. We were all in alignment, and that is really amazing. So that's the way I think you need to do it.